When many of us aren't feeling well or are suddenly facing a serious health condition, we tend to take it easy. Not our next guest, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in his early 60s. Gary Sobel, now 76, went against what his doctors told him, and he turned to exercise. It's so nice to have you on the show. You're doing amazing things with your life. Thank you. Even before you were diagnosed with Parkinson's, you had to overcome a huge obstacle. Tell me about that. Well, uh, in 2008, <clears throat> I, was, I was recovering from my second bout of cancer. <clears throat> and I was discussing um, with my oncologist whether I should have chemotherapy. And at, at that time, he, he looked and he noticed a twitch in my thumb. And he asked me, he said, you, you really should see a neuro neurologist. And I asked why, and he says, I think you have Parkinson's disease. So let me get this right, Gary. You've battled cancer twice. Correct. In remission now. Yes. Then you were diagnosed with Parkinson's because your doctor noticed a thumb twitch. That's correct. How severe has your Parkinson's become? Well, it got pretty severe. It, and, and back in 2008, when I was diagnosed, <clears throat> there was no talk of exercise. In fact, they, they told you, don't crack a sweat. And it, it, it got pretty bad. I, I, was, I couldn't get out of a car by myself. I couldn't drive. Uh, walking was, was risky, because, especially hiking, which I love mm -hmm. to do, was risky because all it would take is one trip. You don't get your foot up high enough. And then you would face plant because there's no way to stop yourself. So there were a lot of no, no, no's, negatives. And a lot of people would think, okay, cancer twice, now Parkinson's, I've been cursed, but you've taken and turned it into a blessing because you developed something. You founded the Parkinson's Network in 2012. Tell me about your focus and what you've done for hundreds of people. Well, first of all, um, when I, I started, I, I got to a point where um, there was very little I could do. In fact, I remember the day that my life changed was when I wrote a check to pay a bill and I picked up a phone to talk to a friend and, and, and when I put the phone down after talking to the friend I picked up the check to mail it and I looked at it and I couldn't read one word that I had oh, written my goodness. and that was that was the that was a hit rock bottom you know you hear people say that you have to hit bottom before you can come out of it mm -hmm. so I started doing some exercises I did some research and within six weeks, I got my handwriting back. Good for you. And so not only was it an emotional turning point, it was a physical turning point for you. And now you're teaching others that exercise helps. Tell me about your classes, and maybe somebody's watching right now, and you can help them. I hope so. The, uh, we, I started, uh, it's been, four, in January, it'll be four years, <clears throat> where we started classes at the <clears throat> Boulder Valley YMC, YMCA. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and... Um, we started with four people, four people that I had met in the Parkinson support group, <clears throat> and we started doing these exercises. And after a, a few weeks, pe people started getting better. And <clears throat> so they spread the word, and, and the classes grew. And <clears throat> when we got to about 20 people, someone, the Denver Post wrote an article on us. And uh, someone in Boston saw it. It was a lady who had Parkinson's, and she was a yoga instructor. She contacted me and said, would you help certify me? Uh -huh. And she came to Boulder. We, we spent three weeks together. She took the class back to Boulder, to back to Boston. She's been teaching classes there. That gave me the idea. To certify other people? Uh, to certify other people. How many people have you certified? There's <clears throat> 180 uh, or yeah. so that are certified across the country. We're now teaching these classes in um, 25 cities. Great. And quickly, I have to mention, Anschutz Medical Center is getting involved with the classes. How so? I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am about this. I, I wanted to add some science-based um, uh, material to, to our classes, and um, Anschutz has agreed. There, I'm, I'm really privileged to have um, a researcher named Margaret Shankman, who's recognized as one of the best in the business. And she and I have put together a plan. We've met it several times. We're, we're going to start collecting data oh, in wonderful. the January time frame so we can put some, uh, we can continue to, to collect data 
on everybody who's taking the classes and see if we can make improvements. This is a blessing, and thank you for paying it forward in life and helping others. You are definitely a positive influence in life. Thank you. You can support Gary by letting people know that there is help through exercise at the Parkinson's Network. Gary will train and help to support new classes anywhere at absolutely no cost. To contact Gary and to learn more about his amazing work, visit this website, parkinsonsnetwork.org.